Hey everybody, Justin here. Thank you for checking out this video. In this video, I will create the Randoodle drawing prompt for today, for July 8th, 2023. And the Randoodle is my wife and I's idea to create a fun and challenging uh, drawing prompt. And what we do is we take these huge lists of parts of speech, so nouns, verbs, and so forth, and randomly select from those a certain way, and then put those into different structures that we came up with. And this way, this method can easily create trillions of possible uh, drawing prompts, and they can range from being very simple to, for example, like if a single simple noun is selected, like, you know, draw a TV, to extremely challenging, bordering on impossible, if a structure selected that has many different parts of speech and complicated words. And because of the randomness involved, the sheer number of combinations, you can get really, you know, silly, funny, surprising ones, also gross or strange ones. And of course, completely normal ones as well. Um, we have a book that explains um, that explains how we do that. If you check it out, please do leave a review. That would really help us out. And it, the first page is kind of how we create these, and the other hundred pages are a hundred different drawing prompts with room for you to draw and try them out. But in this video, like I said, I'll create the prompt for today. And up here on the screen, you will see them just being created on the fly, because kind of flashing by. And um, when I find one I think is interesting, I'll just stop, and that will be the prompt for today. So let me go ahead and get started. Okay, I think I'll, I will stop right there. I think that could make for some cool, um, interesting drawings. So, Llamas Programming is the Randoodle drawing prompt for today, for July 8th, 2023. So... I would like to see your uh, drawings of that, so you can share on social media using the hashtag Randoodle. Of course, that would help us out, and we could also find it uh, a lot faster. Uh, and if you found this video, you're probably looking for art stuff, maybe drawing prompts or art activities. So I want to take the time to talk about another one we have called Connect and Doodle. And similarly, we have a book on that. But a Connect and Doodle is our take on a Connect the Dots. And the typical Connect the Dots has the points in a certain shape, and the issue is Almost all the time you can kind of draw the shape in your mind's eye. You can connect the dots in your mind's eye. So you almost always know the shape even, even before you physically connect the dots. And another thing is in the typical connect the dots, the points are almost always labeled in sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. And while sometimes that's okay, we thought all the time was a little monotonous and we thought we could put the numbers to a little better use. So, um, so the main difference is in a connect and doodle for us, we put the points randomly on a page. You connect them and then you turn that into a picture or art using all your creative powers, you know. So you can use different types of lines, you know, straight or curved, thick or thin. You can add things to the picture, different colors. Uh, you can make it, of course, a concrete picture like a truck or a house. But you can also just make it a doodle or abstract work of art. So it's really up to your, you know, the limits of your creativity, which have no limit, um, to determine how you want to take it, you know, where you want to go with your with your work of art. Um, the second thing with regards to the sequence of the points, the labels, you know, our background is math, so we try to sneak a little math into things too when we can. So we label our points with what's called a random skip pattern. And that's nothing more than skip counting for math, like 5, 10, 15, 20, you know, three, six, nine, twelve, that type of thing. Um, so, for example, another example that I like to use is if we start with three and the skip is nine, our collection of points would be labeled three, twelve, twenty-one, thirty, um, that type of thing. If I put together connectanddoodle.com, uh, we have a small but growing gallery uh, that you can just check out. Uh, but the main reason was because, well, of course, I would appreciate if people buy the book. Uh, you don't have to. And in this Make Your Own Connect and Doodle Here section is some JavaScript I put together where you can just create as many of these for free as you'd like. Um, you can just create your cloud of points and then print it out. And yeah, connect the points and turn it into to turn it into some art. So, um, But let me summarize for today. So again, for July 8th, 2023, the uh, drawing prompt is Llamas Programming. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, but please like uh, this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'd also appreciate if you share with any of your friends you know that like art. So if you like just art, doodling, drawing, 
art prompts, um, you know, creative activities, uh, connect the dots, and they might just like ran doodle and connect and doodle. Um, I appreciate you uh, spending the time to, to check out this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.